In this video, I want to get see if we can understand the idea of a hedge fund a little bit better. And these tend to be pretty mysterious and sometimes get a bad name because some hedge funds do do some fairly strange things and and secretive things in the market, so people are are rightfully so suspicious of many of them. But the real difference between a hedge fund and the types of mutual funds that we just talked about are that they're not regulated by the SEC. Not regulated. Not regulated by SEC. And because they are not regulated, they can't market themselves. They can't market. That's why when you watch when you watch a financial shows or you get a, a, a magazine, a finance magazine, you will not see ads for hedge funds. The mutual funds are all over the place, marketing them left and right. Hedge funds, the most the, the largest hedge funds in the world are 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 definitely not even household names. No one very few people even know what the what those largest hedge funds in the world are. And that's because they can't market themselves no matter how good of a of a track record or really how reasonable of a fund they might be. Some might not be reasonable, some are. They can't market themselves and they also can't take money from the public. Can't take money from the public. So in general, in order to invest in a hedge fund, you have to be an accredited investor, which means you have a certain net worth, or maybe you have a certain income, or maybe by virtue of your education, you can prove that you have a certain level of sophistication to invest in these things that aren't regulated. You, you I guess, don't need the SEC to, to watch your back. And the, so, so the regulation is a key difference. Marketing, no money from the public. And then the other key difference is how the managers tend to be uh, incented. I know incented's not a word, or more motivated. In the mutual fund world, managers get a percent of assets. So for a mutual fund, manager larger is better. The more under management, the more money the mutual fund manager is going to make. So they really just want to keep marketing and marketing and marketing it. They don't get a cut of the profit. So really, there's not a lot of incentive to, to try to make um, kind of really beat the market here. Because if they, if they kind of don't beat the market one year, then all of a sudden they're, you know, their, their fund will shrink. So they really just get a fee on the size of the fund. In a hedge fund, and it, usually the implication is that a hedge fund will be more actively managed, they'll get a larger management fee. So usually, so larger, larger management fee. Management fee instead of the one uh, percent. One percent is actually a lot for a mutual fund. Instead of that, hedge funds tend to be one to two percent. So one to two percent management fee, and sometimes even larger than that. But the even I guess bigger difference, and this is where hedge funds are very different from a traditional mutual fund, is that the management company, the general partner, gets a percentage of the profits. So a hedge fund manager or the management company, the tent, the going rate tends to be about twenty percent. 20% of the profits of the profits of the fund. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a lot more. Some very successful hedge funds get 25, 30% or even a larger percentage of the profits. So with that out of the way in the next video, I'm going to do a, a slight some different mechanics of essentially the same returns but one by a hedge fund and then one by a traditional mutual fund.